That breaking news in Prague, a mass shooting at a university in the downtown area there. Ten people have been killed, at least 30 more injured. Here's a look now at the scene in Prague. Police say the shooter also dead, but what we don't know at this point is why that shooter opened fire. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles in the newsroom following the very latest developments. Darla. David and Sandra, as we just saw in those live pictures, this situation is still unfolding. A total of 11 people are dead. That number includes the victims and the shooter. This happened in the Czech Republic capital of Prague at the Philosophy Building at Charles University, and it started to unfold about an hour and a half ago. That's when a tweet was sent out by the U.S. Embassy in Prague advising Americans living in the area there was an active shooter situation and that it had been contained. Here you see video of officers with long guns going building from window to window searching oh. for any additional threats. The area where this happened as you mentioned is in the central part of Prague. It's in the Jan Palak Square located in the historic Old Town District and is a major tourist attraction. And here you see cell phone video of people running for their lives in this major tourist area when the gunshots rang out. Now, eyewitness news, eyewitnesses in that area in Prague are telling local news outlets that they saw a person shooting from a window. But at this time, as you mentioned, the shooter has not been identified nor the motive for the school shooting. The Jan Palach Square has been sealed off and the prime minister is headed to the scene. David and Sandra school shootings, as we know, are very, very rare. Again, 10 people have been killed in a mass shooting in Prague, 30 injured. The situation is still unfolding and we'll continue to bring you updates as more details become available. Sandra. All right, Darla, thank you very much for the